Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my newbie soul family as well as my ride or dies. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Sorry, this hair is getting on my nerves. Um, and if you are comfortable enough or you know dropping lines you know i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me um and if you feel like the video just gives good vibes that you would love to you know see if somebody can vibe with the two please go ahead and share it's pre totally appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video and it's called trans ascension um of change highs lows you know levels and devils insight you weren't able to uncover before and it was true you know, um, a lot of times we weren't on that vibe or on that level to jump to one prediction to another one. Maybe because there's things we we're still holding on to. We may have had negative thoughts that we, you know, we weren't allowing ourselves to set free from. You know, there's a lot of different things that's coming up. And it doesn't want us to go back into that vibe of the old part of us. You know, if there's something that came up into your life and it, it, it brought off an aha moment. But it also was telling you, you know, this is no longer in your, your free frequency of vocabulary as you are changing this is no longer needed this is what sat you on your path these are the things you had to go through to learn about yourself as well as individuals or situations that you may have been connected to at that vibe um at that time i said at that vibe at that time and you were vibing at that time so you know hey that that's no mistake but going through all those different things, you know, you're, you're changing, you're rearranging, you're going to another level. And a lot of times we don't realize when things start getting heavy and start hitting you tensely, you already have moved to the next level. That's the reason why it's like a daggone video game. It's just like, you know, reminded me of... Uh, Mario Brothers, you know, if you you were you're a '90s baby, well, shoot, I'm a '70s baby. But I used to love playing Nintendo. Um, what is it? Uh, S Sega as well. You know, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I used to love um, what was it? Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. So, but it was just like going on those different levels. You know, you you start getting more, you know, more of those things that's fighting against you. You know, different mazes you got to go on. You know, there's a certain kind of number. You know, certain angles on the on the controllers you got to be able to, you know, uh, get to jump over this thing and give you different, you know, ammo and all that crazy stuff. And that's basically what we're going through in life. You know, um, you're going through your highs. You're starting to see every uh, a lot of the things that you have gone through was actually something that was going to really instill in to your mind you know it's, it's strengthening you it's healing your heart it's helping you move forward and even though everything that is going through our lives even though we may not have been able to see it before as life lessons you know when we allowing ourselves to get that courage um to keep moving forward even when we fear the unknown or we fear what's coming around the corner that's when your your faith is really wanting you to allow yourself to understand there may be something going on deeper behind the scenes that you weren't able to uh see before you know you're starting to synchronize more you're probably more you start and allow yourself to purge clear cut cords allowing yourself to forgive you know different things um coming up within your life that may be in vibe with you that was toxic and it's just like the people that you were connected with also was toxic and these are the things that you know instead of looking at them in that way you know and a lot of times it took me a long time not to look at certain people or certain situations in a narrative but now it's just like the more I allow myself to heal through every day it's allowing myself to say you know what I needed that even though I may have hurt I needed that in my life you know it showed me how much power I have instilled in me it allowed me to see the power I had that I've forgotten at that time being able to know the warrior I was you know you the OG warrior and those are the different things that allowed you to see that because of the circumstances that you were placed in you know it's not allowing yourself to even see the people that betrayed you in the worst kind of way you know especially if you were that person that was very supportive of them and you know you had to be able to see it it's just like you know what it's a loss you know a lot of times you know when people you know if you were very genuine towards people and you were just you know you were that genuine person but it, a lot of times I had to see it from a different way because you know nobody's perfect we all go through different things in our lives and you know even when things come to you through betrayal hurt lies you know all these different things I'm um, coming to your life and you know you were very genuine with the person and only time that you spoke your truth is when you felt like your boundaries were being crossed or you felt some type of way about that person they have every right to do that too but then if
if you noticed you were genuine towards a person that wasn't used to a person being genuine because you know a lot of times we don't realize they may have not been genuine to themselves you know because you look at a person like damn you know I really love that person it could have been you know an ex-lover or it could have been a best friend or somebody you thought was a best friend or even family and then when you're saying you're thinking that when they betrayed you in the most worst way you never know it, it could have been something that could have been messed up towards your life but then when you turn around and look at it this was a blessing in disguise for you because you just don't know you could have been sent towards that person of being the ultimate blessing for them and they didn't realize it until after you know the fact that the matter it, it was too late you know uh, things may have changed and it could have changed for you for the better and then it changed for them for the worse and it's just like dag you know you you would have been hurt and it's like dag you know I could have did this and that and that for that person or it could have been a shoe on the other foot you could have did the same thing and next thing you know something could have changed in that person's life that could have been beneficial towards you and you just because you use and abuse somebody boom next thing you know something happened and then it's just like it's all lifetime lessons it's not about belittling that person or those individuals or whatever um or even that circumstance you never look never look down on something unless you're about to you know help lift them up you know and just allowing yourself to say you know what a lot of times you know people were, just weren't ready for that blessing a lot of times we you know we get upset when our blessings don't come at that time and maybe we weren't actually ready for that a lot of times you know you can be in the right right wrong place at the wrong time and you may have not been emotionally mentally and spiritually ready for different things in your life that you truly work hard for even though universe knows you get mad like man you know I've been working doing this and this and this and that and these things didn't happen for me yet and y'all kept on showing all these different signs that blessings was coming towards my way and they still ain't came and I worked on this and then you know it, it, it may it came out a different way or whatever and it's just like it wasn't denied it may have been somewhat delayed and then it's just the fact is you know if they were doing something in their life they want to make sure you're at that exact alignment to be able to receive that so we're going through our highs and lows to get to the ultimate you know to the ultimate trans ascension you know it's like transcending ascension and all that but when you're balling all those up and it, it surpasses all that and those are the things they really want you to understand these are the things that's preparing you for whatever you know universe has instilled for you you know because whatever is for you they pray you know they, they prepared you for that these are certain certain things they prepared you for before you were just a twinkle in your daddy's eye you know and those are the things that shows you you know you go through your highs you go through your lows you go through your good and your bad and these are all levels of learning you know we go through that all the time and it's just being able to understand things you know it goes takes you back at that moment like tag you know I really need needed to go through that because I learned so much about myself through those situations or I learned so much about myself through certain you know connections whether it you know um, is still going on with the connection with people or is no longer going connection with people but these are the things that shows you resting still <laughs> you had to go through these things you had to learn a lot about it you know I learned a lot of things through the connections of people that I talked to or you know I no longer talk to and I appreciate them all the same you know and there's times where I've got mad and you know I've said things you know I've done things you know I've, you know I went popping off on certain people that have done things to me you know and I wouldn't have been surprised if I know if I did something to somebody and whether it was intentional or unintentional you know they they had their vibes and wanting to project towards their truth on how they felt you know at that time and you know back then you probably would have took it personal or certain things you know you may go through different situations you take it personal and then there's times where you know you can go through different things and you may take it personal at that time but when you did a lot of emotional clearing and spiritual clearing you're like you know what I'm grateful for that you'll start seeing that even a lot of your mishaps your failures failures lead to success but it's just the point on being consistent about it you know there's different times like I hate it when I have to just take me a break from you know everything that I'm going through and just shut down you know and I'm not talking about shut down it's like, oh my god but just shut down to calm the mind just for me to be able to clear because there's so many different downloads that's coming right now you know there's a lot of people because you know I've been getting them for uh, last few days and I, when I tell you it's been very intense 
and to the point where I was getting constant headaches, you know, I was very fatigued because the more I allowed my, myself to release, the more things was coming down. And the more things is coming down, it starts heightening up your gifts. Or there's different times where it's like a fail-safe type situation where, okay, you're already in that lock and load with your gifts and it's very intense. But then you did that brave thing of emotional clearing, allowing yourself to release and accept and let go. And um, just learn life lessons and not allowing yourself to absorb whatever is going on into that mishap and you create that void within yourself and keep you stuck in that sequence and you're allowing yourself to say you know what this is out of my control let me allow myself to keep moving it was a life lesson towards that you know and I, I'm gonna show gratitude to it even though I may not understand it I'm showing gratitude to it even for the little things that God and the universe place in my, my life showing gratitude towards that and you'll start seeing more things will start coming to you and in, in ways that you weren't expecting and those are the, you know those are a lot of high high moments you know especially when you're going through a lot of storms into your life and you're just saying you know a lot of times you got to keep allowing yourself to see keep saying thank you even when it's tears in your eyes and you're not understanding what's going on you keep saying thank you you know there's so many different times that you know those storms uh, you know all the time not not certain times but all the time those storms creating the strength within you every pain has a purpose every struggle has salvation <laughs> you know every ridicule and ridicule end up going towards powerful redemption redemption and those are the things they really allow yourself to go through that but also at the same time the more you're allowing yourself to be open towards your gift the more you're allowing yourself to be stronger you know you're going up on those levels also prepare for the darkness many enemies are starting to come come to surface some that you may be aware about and some of them you don't and those they're actually you know they're supposed to be towards that extra vibe of teaching as well you know there's different things that people do they may sabotage you there'll be different things that people do to make you doubt yourself make you want to quit make you want to just fall back and not do anything and these are the things that those are the tests is coming through we send people your way you know y'all know if you've been with me for a while you hear me say it a lot god and devil plays the same you know hand in hand except they got two different agendas the devil knows that you got a light this bright and shine is a diamond and you know and a lot of times that mess go brighter than that and you are a very you you are very you know uh what is the word i'm looking for you're that one that is needed i can't remember that word and you know i want to say commodity but you know um something is very rare and what is about to take place in this world you feel it coming in you know you feel it in your bones like they say that something huge is coming and these are the things that's really you know the devil is doing every everything they possibly can to make sure this doesn't happen you know you are you um, are the forgotten you know testament you know you're you're that one that is you know is written but it was supposed to be forgotten to a certain t you know to a certain extension into your life certain time in life and now it's just like things are taking place and you're you're noticing it through your healing through your process you know you're on this path and that path done got very intense and it's not to break you down you know and a lot of times it's hard to feel that you know sometimes you you know especially with this this moon that just passed you know or there's I think there's another one getting ready to come out and the mess is very intense and it's being very revealing towards a lot of different things in your life that um, is going through that that initial change that needs to take place and while you're doing that there is more enemies that's coming up that really are trying to do any and everything to be able to stop that but you know that you're protected and a lot of times we it's hard for us to say how are we protected when y'all allowing this and this and that coming in these are life lessons that you know is coming into contact with you if there's something or someone trying to control you know your path or your purpose that lets you know you know that person is wounded you know that person is projecting they're doing a, cons a, a comparison and they're trying to manipulate sequences in that time frame which time doesn't exist but in that pattern in that frequency let me just put it that way and you have to understand if anybody controls your life they don't have control over their own but there's a lot of different things that the devil is going to use against you to make that happen but also God is going to allow that to use against you to make you stronger because it's like regardless of what is going on into your life he made a promise to you 
and these are the things he's like I knew this I knew this was going to happen it was already written you know he knows way what was going to go on in the future but for us to be able to go through that there was a lot of different sacrifices that were made and it's just like you know when our families have passed away you know and those you know those are unfortunate events that always happen in a circle of life even though it can be very devastating these people have took a solid oath to be able to be that person if I my life was denied to me and this person is still here I want them to keep breathing for me I want them to keep living for me I want them to start making fun of, of the life of opportunity to be able to have fun be able to have laughter being able to have love again you know knowing that I'm, I'm always there in that process of being able to make sure that they're very well protected they're guided you know I want to want them to be able to live life that I was you know I was denied so it's just like they're taking that time they took that sacrifice for you to be able to allow you to go through different traumatic situations for you to learn from it's like family but you in that well you already know there's a lot of people that have gone through a lot of tragedy when it comes to connections maybe it was toxic maybe it was programmed you know uh, some kind of treachery that went into your you know your family line and they the one who sacrificed this to be able for you to go through that ultimate change because there's a lot of things in the world that is taking place in people's lives and they don't feel like you can ever come there's no kind of good thing can come out of a negative circumstance and you're going through that to be able to prove that is possible and a lot of times people feel like that is not you know that's impossible but that possible lies in you you know you're going through different things you know what you have conquered you know what you have gone through you know what you're still battling and then for you to be able to allow yourself to go through that it's not easy there'll be days you'll be mad at God and be saying everything up under the sun to him he already he already prepared for that he knows there will be days that you just don't like him there'll be different days where you are just tired of him but then there'll be times where you're gonna understand there's days there's many a days I've cried and I told God even though I don't like you it sometimes even though I don't like the things you put me through I'm so grateful for the things that you allowed to connect with me because it showed me you know what was laying on up underneath the surface within me what was laying up under um, all the situations that I battled or I'm still battling because it showed me strength that I never knew I had you know and there's days you know I tell y'all real quick I'm very transparent about that there's days that I want to give up there's days that I don't want to live anymore because that pain gets bad you know there will be days that I'm just ready to pop off because of different things that people keep doing you know but then it's just allowing myself I'm not going to allow myself to sit up here and place myself in a vibe that is only there to strengthen me in the first place you know um, if you know you're moving in good intentions, good intentions are going to constantly happen for you. Even when you feel like you're going through a hailstorm of misfortune, is preparing you for something greater. You know, and those are the things that keep showing you, you know, you weren't able to, you know, you weren't able to see what was revealing. You know, that was your ultimate revelation through all those different things, through the transition of change. And for you going through these different things, you you had to battle a lot of things. You had to battle a lot of parts of yourself. You know, we were the, our own biggest enemy. You know how they say you're your own worst critic. You are all, your own biggest enemy at the same time. Because there's different, even though there may be different people that are coming past you that do everything to destroy you. They couldn't do that without your permission. You know, and a lot of times I'm like, dang, touche, girl. You know, because I had to tell myself that it's like, how is, it's like, oh, this person getting on my nerves. But you allowed them to get on your nerves. Oh, this person pissing me off. But you allowed them to piss you off. A lot of times when you see the different things that's taking place and you have to take note on it. Instead of re responding. Because a lot of things don't need your response for it. You know, there's different things that's coming in. They always tell you, never respond to shade. You know, the day they came bothered, you know, you won the day they became bothered. You know, because there's something about you either they feared or they were jealous about. There's something about you that they wanted you know that they felt like that was theirs but these are the things that you know this is your purpose you know if it was intended it would have happened for somebody else but yet you were chosen for that exact purpose you know it can be very hurtful when people go out their way to hurt you you know and they always tell you don't take it personal it's like, how the heck am I not taking it personal or putting it on me there are certain things about you that can really just really piss somebody off just the fact is how is that person I don't wish all this and this and that on that person or I've done this and this and that and they're still here or you know I don't wish so much bad on that person but yet they're still here I don't did this kind of ritual and this and this and that but yet they're still here these things that has been placed on your life to break you is gonna be the thing that makes you 
you know anything that comes in close encounter for your life no matter what it is that somebody's done no matter what they placed on your life what on on your path whatever you this is going to be used for exact tool to make you a beast okay this is going to make you a beast because i've seen so many different things that i've gone through in life and then there's times i even question god about that like how you allow this to happen but then i allowed myself to see these things and it's like look how strong you have gotten from those different things that is going on into your life and allowed you to see you must be on a roll of something very important that people are trying to make sure they, they can seek and destroy it any kind of way you know you go through different tests you know i go through them a lot you know especially when it comes to my platforms i go through that a lot but then i allow myself you know i go through it allow myself to live and learn take a back seat to my own program for a minute allow myself to release recharge allow me to regroup and come back better than i was before you know not worried about oh you know you know enemies so i was like oh you know she done gave up she ain't did videos for a few days no baby that wasn't it i just took pause for the cause and allow myself to recharge regroup and come back better you know shoot if i want to get clear more insight comes to me and it, you know that's a blessing that comes to me that i need to be able to share with other people being able to use myself as my own experience of my story your story can be very inspiring to a lot of people that you may not realize and you need to be able to share your story you've gone through this you've gone through that and then you know there's days you know when you especially when you're being transparent you know and being honest you know i had to allow myself to not worry about what the enemy thought or what kind of opinion somebody had about my life or what things that they thought was true and wasn't true or what she's trying to expose on getting attention or whatever i know what i'm true at heart about i know my experiences is very great and they're very true you know i say what nobody has the whatever you know opinion people have about my experience never changed it you know i had to allow myself to know there's a lot of things that i don't put on my platform you know that if i know that is not you know going to be something that i just really don't have no reason to expose you know but i allow myself to you know be able to tell the things that i know is going to you know help somebody else in their life when they're going through it you know we fight a lot of battles that people don't know about and i all of my you know i tell what i need to tell and to tell all is telling what i need to tell you know and allowing myself to be able to do that you know you have enemies out there you have people that are going to try you and test you but those are the challenges that you keeps moving you forward and it, you know a lot of times we get in our head and saying these people are overcoming us these people are winning this is this and that and if you're you're creating that reality for yourself and you don't want to do that and universe is always telling you allow yourself to see the good in the worst of things allow yourself to see the good in the worst of people you know i've seen different people that are hateful towards me even when i try to be cordial you know there'll be a lot of times like hey i'm just trying to tolerate you and i'm trying, just trying to keep it copacetic you know but then allow myself to even know you know if they want to treat it like that you ain't got to you know i'm not gonna over you know over and compensate you or over you know be uh using what, what they call it you know that warm welcome but i'm not going to do you like you did me you know because that represents my character you know i want to be treated like you don't know, want people to treat me like i want to be treated you know even if you don't do that i'll cut that cord so quick and just keep it plain and simple you know if i gotta discuss something with you i'm gonna do that but if not i'm just gonna leave you alone you know, even when I see somebody's doing things out, you know, just to get a reaction out of me. My reaction is just looking at it, observing, and keep it moving. That was the right response that you're going to get that a lot of people just going to get pissed off about. And it's okay. Because then when, I, when you are really allow yourself to look at this, that was the challenge you needed. Even the, the people that are in your life that are very toxic, that is a blessing in disguise. Because it's showing you what you whatever trigger that comes up to the surface is letting you say, hey focus on that because you need to heal from it if that person is still on your mind when things is going on and it brings back certain things it's just allowing you to learn you have to accept that person for who they are you know you can't make somebody change you can't make nobody do that you know everybody can love you but it's it's up to you to that choice if you choose to you know appreciate it the way they are that people show love through hurt people show love through pain you know different things they want to poke buttons at and stuff like that and that you know that has nothing to do with you that person is battling something they choose not to, they choose to walk away you know with you you got a battle you're facing that you had to face and you seeing it is not easy you i mean it's just the fact is like i tell people you gotta pray for your enemies because the ones that are not allowing themselves to really face the patterns that they have that creates that keeps following like that because the more you allow yourself to not 
heal on the different things that's taking place the universe is bringing up to your life the worst is going to get and when it, the worst is going to get and then they make you allow they make you do it at that time like you know when your parents do you know the ones that's like i want you to sit here i don't want you to get up the only time you need to get up is if you need some water or you need to go to the bathroom other than that you get your butt and you sit right here and you think about what you've done and that's exactly what god's going to do except when god do it it's going to be a lot worse so you need to pray for them you really need to pray for them because it's, it's, it's going to get crazy you know so you're allowing yourself to keep moving through that point you pray for your enemies you pray for the people that appreciate you motivating you giving you more creativity to do more all these things from both sides is creating a better you so you're allowing yourself to really you know really go through these changes in life and it's showing you where your highs were where your very lows were you know your levels to create it a powerful devil you know and all those different things and when you get to that point when that door opens for you you're going to appreciate it you're going to understand why times was hard you're going to wonder you're going to understand why the pressure made you a diamond you're going to appreciate all those different things that is taking place into your life that have created something very powerful in you that you never knew that was there before so I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, I would love to give a post notification shout out. And thank you for there's a lot of uh, new subscribers that's coming in. I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, and I would love to give a post notification shout out to Lauren Korzika. Uh, Gor I hope I pronounced your last name right. I apologize if I didn't. Um, Lauren Harrison and Amari uh, Saga. Much love to you as well. And Cynthia, Cynthia friend, uh, Frash, Frashki, Fra, Fra, Hiski, I hope I pronounced that right, I'm so sorry. Much love to you as well, and welcome. You know, I leave my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about networking, uh, giving you uh, a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, as well as, um, you know, people want to share things with me, you know, asking me for insight or, you know, what do I feel about certain things that happen in your life. Um, they're like, Rosalyn, is this crazy? It's normal. Number one, nothing that you're going through is crazy. So you are not crazy and you are not alone. And anything that you think is normal, baby, we ain't normal anyway. <laughs> Just for we being here and who we are and who we represent, there's nothing normal about us. We weren't created here to be normal. We are very rare. We are a hybrid. So don't ever use those two words. Well, use those few words that relates to that because, you know, you're very extraordinary and you're, you know, on this path to be able to discover that. So, um, I'm leaving that in the description box below as well as my link to my podcast as well. And I hope you are um, you are able to use my um, community uh, page as well that shows my um, IG shorts, uh, reels that I share from other people that really have helped me throughout the way. Um, and I also leave their accounts so you know you can go over there and support the channel as well. Um, and just giving props to them, you know, I say I give them flowers because there's so many times that it made me laugh. There will be different things that reminded me. Of situations that I was going through just to reassure me everything is going okay and just give insight that you know it really done took me there and just like oh aha that's what's going on and thank you I need that reminder so I hope y'all stay blessed and whatever you're working on in your manis is going to come up so much bigger and better than you ever imagined and it's going to come sooner than you ever predicted and make sure you don't give up you know there's so many different things that are strengthening you challenge you and really you know uh testing your beliefs so allow yourself to keep going You'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.